Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to the Plus Size Vixen YouTube channel. Now, if y'all don't know, I am your Plus Size Vixen and I just dropped a video for a Sheen Summer Plus Size Dress Try On Haul. However, I'm back. Y'all like, girl, you giving contact back to back? Yes, I am. Reasons being is because I have been thinking about my YouTube page. I have been thinking about some things I want to do on my YouTube page. Because like I expressed in my vlogs, if you are a subscriber, hey Vixen Gang, that it could get a little costly at times trying to keep up with the try on hauls. Again, as I try to grow my channel, I cannot wait for these brands to reach out to me to um give me clothes some sponsored content i mean i have a couple of collaborations i did do on my channel however not enough to keep it flowing so i truly am going to keep the faith and i truly believe things are going to change but something i do want to do on this channel is start styling pieces i feel like i try on a lot of different clothes to see how it look but one thing i'm starting to learn as i reach my late 30s is the importance of body type, the importance of sizing, the importance of having a tailor, the importance of just really identifying your own personal style. And I think that's where I'm going with this channel. I think a lot of times, a lot of us plus size, non-plus size, doesn't matter. We fall into fast fashion. <laughs> You know, what's popping, what's hot, what's going on on social media, who's giving the looks, and we want to emulate it. And I realized and I learned in my late 30s that I was missing so much from my closet due to the fact because I was keeping up with fast fashion. Like, I wanted what was hot, what was popping, and I lacked so many essentials. I was getting stuff that wasn't true to size, stuff that was too tight, stuff that wasn't flattering to my body shape, stuff that made me feel uncomfortable that I'm like layering it up with a whole bunch of cardigans, jean jackets that wasn't appealing. And I had to say, hey girl, you love fashion, you love style, we got to get it together. So I don't know if I'm the only one out there who ever had that realization and was like, yo, I need to do something different. I love to dress. I love to put stuff on. But I'm not dressing to accentuate my body. To show off what I have. Because I'm falling into the fast fashion trap. I'm falling into the, you know, wanting to follow the trend. Instead of, you know, getting just those basic pieces that you need. So, go so going forward, y'all going to see some videos of me taking those same pieces i'm trying on styling now i was gonna do that last night with my video but i'm gonna be honest with y'all that video i put out i'm not a hundred percent like it i felt like i did it because i knew a transition is about to happen in my life i'm about to be prepared for surgery this week so i was just like oh my god let me do something before i'm kind of like bed bound before i can't do what i want to do so I wasn't exactly happy with it. It felt like I went backwards, like when I first started doing trying hauls, and I know so much better now. I know I should have did things so much different, and I apologize for that. But again, still support the video, show it love. However, I've been sitting here taking notes. I got my handy dandy iPad on how I want to go about this. And it's time for me to even go in my closet, too, because I have so many things in my closet that I feel like this is what I could be bringing to y'all. How to style it, how to, like, get more in tune with. It's not what you buy, it's how you style it. Because as you learn in this life, you could spend hundreds, thousands of dollars on an outfit. That doesn't mean it's fly, doesn't mean it's cute. If you don't know how to style things, you will look like everybody else. And that's not my objective. So I'm looking for the people to subscribe to me who 
wants to learn how to style, wants to understand how to dress their body, who's into plus size fashion, like that's the route that this channel was going into. It's still going to be called Plus Size Vixen. I thought about should I change the name, but no. I guess the videos that's upcoming is Style with Vixen or Style with Plus Size. I'm still working on it. <laughs> we going to test it out with this video, but again, for those who are new here, let me just introduce myself. I'm your plus size vixen. I've been on YouTube now for the past, maybe consistently, I'm not going to say the past maybe, maybe five years. I think I started in 2019. I wasn't serious. I was just like, oh, let me see how this is going to go. And I'm going to not lie to y'all, especially if y'all new to YouTube or think about becoming a YouTube, it's work. Like my hat goes off to all these amazing creators on here who take time to create the thumbnails the music the transitions like this is real work so i can't get mad by somebody who's putting in a work and who got the following and who's monetizing and who's getting sponsored deals because if that's what you want you had to put in the work and i feel like i'm back this time to put in the work not so much to monetize because i feel like that's the cherry on top of the cake <laughs> no oh joseph i'm always playing play theme. but i'm excited about this transition i'm really sitting here taking notes trying to come up with ideas because again you know i love this at first i thought i didn't know i didn't expect anything when i first started this i didn't know what to expect what was going to come out of it you know, I just thought I was going through a phase. Like, girl, look, you know what's happened to? I saw somebody who looked like me on YouTube. And I was like, oh, they doing this? Oh, I could do this too. And again, I had to, I'm a researcher. So I was watching the, the videos, the process, how to do this, how to do that. I'm like, yo, this is work. Real work with no pay. <laughs> I'm like, I got to get dedicated. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't do everything for pay, but after all the work you got to put into this, a conversation is nice. Let's keep it a buck. However, though, I'm so excited for y'all to come on this journey with me. I'm so excited to do this. I just got to stay consistent. Keep this camera up because Lord knows once I put that ring light up, I ain't even thinking about recording anything. But I'm going to make it my business that this coming summer into the fall that i come with some more style videos please drop your questions below um we're going to talk about shapewear we're going to talk about different um different shapes we're going to talk about dressing for your body how to accentuate you know how to camouflage or accentuate the fupa we're really just going to get into it because this is my passion my passion is fashion and another thing i'm passionate about that i also want my subscribers and viewers to know is i have a cosmetics line it's called plus size vixen cosmetics i just recently shortened the name to psv cosmetics right now i'm rebranding I was hoping for this summer, but at this time I might push it back to the fall, that I want to come back and launch with um, concealers, I want to come back with blush, I want to come back with lipstick, lip gloss. I used to just do lipstick, lip gloss, so what's new to the line, I did lipstick, lip gloss, and eyeshadow. What's new to the line would be the concealers and the blush. Definitely trying to expand my business. Want to do a big photo shoot. You know, I, I want to come back correct. I want to be, I'm trying to be the next, the next Fenty Beauty. So, you know, cause, you know, plus size Vixen Beauty. You know, we, we over here working. But besides that, I can't wait. Y'all see your girl got her little hat on. This hat is from Amazon. Sweater from Ashy Stewart. Chain from Amazon. We're trying to get it. So subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned because we have a lot 